Cody Rhodes wins a Best WWE Moment SB Award. Ric Flair personally thanked Vince McMahon for adding him back to WWE Signature Open. Kenny Omega is hoping to be at AEW All Out. Tony Khan confirms the Briscoes are signed to a long-term ROH contract. And AEW's Adam Cole is very confident he'll be back in the ring soon. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and we got plenty of news stories to get to here today. So let's get right to it. Kicking things off with Cody Rhodes winning an ESPY award. Cody Rhodes is now an ESPY award winner. It was announced during Wednesday's ESPY Awards on ABC that Cody Rhodes had won the Best WWE Moment Award for his return to WWE at WrestleMania 38, where he appeared as a surprise mystery opponent for Seth Rollins. The other three nominations included The Undertaker being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, Stone Cold Steve Austin stunning Vince McMahon, Theory and Pat McAfee at WrestleMania 38, and Big E cashing his Money in the Bank briefcase and winning the WWE Championship. Ric Flair says he met with Vince McMahon recently and thanked him for putting his woo back into the WWE signature opening. Flair's woo had been removed from the video last September following the airing of a Dark Side of the Ring episode on 2002's Plane Ride from Hell. Two weeks ago, the woo was added back again. Ric Flair said he went and saw Vince McMahon to personally thank him because they were in Tampa, Florida. It made me feel like my world had changed again. It made me feel a lot better than when they took me off. I can tell you that. After being out of action for over six months, former AEW world champion Kenny Omega is hoping to be back in action at September's All Out. On Wednesday night's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said that Kenny Omega is hoping to be at All Out, but it's too soon to say that he will or he won't. He's hoping for it. That's kind of the target right now. Meltzer then went on to say that September's show is also the targeted return for AEW World Champion CM Punk, who has been out for nearly two months after surgery on what is believed to be his foot. If Punk does return, it's virtually a lock that it will be in a title unification match against current interim title holder John Moxley. On Tuesday, Fightful reported that Omega and the Young Bucks trio match is tentatively planned for All Out, but Meltzer didn't confirm that on Wrestling Observer Radio. After losing the title to Hangman Page at last November's Full Gear, Omega took time off to have several surgeries for nagging injuries, including his knee, a sports hernia, and more. On a media call to promote this Saturday's Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor pay-per-view, Tony Khan confirmed that the Briscoes, Jay and Mark Briscoe, are under a long-term contract with Ring of Honor. The Briscoes are challenging FTR for the ROH Tag Team titles in a 2 out of 3 falls match at the show. Khan spoke about the Briscoes' contract status when asked by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful if there are any wrestlers signed to ROH full-time who aren't currently appearing on AEW television. I think the Briscoes is a great example for that. The Briscoes are under contract during a minor uh, and a long-term contract. And I think there are some other developmental wrestlers, but really the key, probably the biggest names that are exclusively signed to Ring of Honor are the Briscoes. And they are some of the biggest names in Ring of Honor history. They're Hall of Famers. And uh, there are some others, but I think those that would be a great example of a key act where they haven't really appeared in AEW yet, but they are signed to Ring of Honor in me. Fightful reported this March that a person of influence within Warner Media didn't want the Briscoes signed to AEW because of homophobic tweets that Jay Briscoe had made in 2013. Jay again apologized for those tweets during a March appearance on the Battleground podcast. The Briscoes are 12-time ROH Tag Team Champions. They were inducted into the ROH Hall of Fame earlier this year as part of the promotion's inaugural Hall of Fame class. Adam Cole is on the road to recovery after suffering a concussion at AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door. During an appearance on GameSpot's Wrestle Buddies podcast, Cole addressed his recovery and said he's confident that he'll be able to return to the ring soon. Cole, who is dealing with a torn labrum, suffered a concussion during the Fatal 4-Way IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match at Forbidden Door last month. He said, quote, I'm doing okay. I'm definitely on the path, on the track to recovery for sure. I have a great team around me that is helping and just making sure that I'm taken care of to the best of my ability. AEW has been fantastic as far as making sure that I'm getting the right care that I deserve. 
Alrighty, there you go. That was your quick rundown for today. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out the latest. And do not forget to subscribe to F4W online. If you would like to chat wrestling with me, feel free to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. See you guys on the next video. Additionally, make sure to check out my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, as well as some of our other videos.